Well, today I'm going to make a slightly different video. As I mentioned on my YouTube channel, I haven't been feeling well lately. For the last couple of months I've had a lot of fatigue, nausea, stomach pain, and my doctors couldn't find out what the problem was. So two weeks ago one of my doctors said, hey you're just exhausted, you have a burnout, so just lay low and relax, take a few weeks off. And then about a week ago I started noticing this rash on my, on my chest, on the right part of my chest. And this is known as an erythema migrans, which is a common rash associated with tick bites. And I had been bitten by ticks this spring about 20 times uh, during the making of my badger episode. So of course I had my blood tested for, uh, for Lyme, uh, Lyme disease or uh, a Borrelia infection, which is the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. And this test came out negative, so my doctors told me everything was fine. Now these tests are quite unreliable because they cannot detect the bacteria itself, only the antibodies that your body produces. Sometimes these antibodies are not produced uh, within the first couple of weeks or months. Plus it's very hard to detect these antibodies properly. So it appears that I have, that I have had Lyme disease for the last couple of months, at least since May, because this rash on my chest started back then. Back then it was only a small rat patch and then it started to it started to progress and eventually it became a, a bullseye around my nipple and it started to increase uh, in diameter which is a typical sign of erythema migrans that's why it's called migrans because the rash migrates but my doctors for the last couple of months kept gaslighting me telling me that everything was fine with my body my blood work was normal and I was just exhausted I just had a burnout but now it appears that I have been quite ill for the last couple of months. So last Monday, um, four days ago, I started the antibiotics treatment with doxycycline, which is the standard practice for these Lyme infections, these Borrelia infections. And now I already feel a lot better after a couple of days. My rash has started to fade. I have no more nausea. I'm still quite tired, but that will take a couple of months, I think, to well to subside but that's fine at least I know that my way is up now and that my Lyme disease likely is under control so when Lyme disease is treated early within the first couple of months using antibiotics the chances of recovery are quite high so I do expect to make a full recovery and I've decided to tell you my story because a lot of people watching will also likely go out into the wild will also love to enjoy nature as much as I do but if you go out into the forest a lot, especially if you go off the trails, you're likely to encounter a few ticks. So you may get Lyme disease sooner or later. I thought I wouldn't, but I also contracted Lyme disease. So think about it. And if you don't feel well, uh, go see your doctor. Have yourself checked out for Lyme if you suspect any tick bites. And if your Lyme blood work comes out negative, uh, stay vigilant because as I told you these um, these blood tests are not that reliable and the rash the erythema migrans may not occur um, in about half of all people bitten by ticks so it's not a very um, easy disease to diagnose so I've learned my lesson I will try to stay on the trails as much as possible and I always wear uh, long clothes when I go deep into the forest uh, I also tuck my shirt into my pants and I tuck my pants into my uh, into my socks. But even then, ticks still come in through your uh, through your neck, for example. Uh, so I'm also going to try DEET, D-E-E-T. Uh, there's also a substance known as, I think it's permethrin, which you can spray onto your clothes. Now, of course, these compounds are not healthy, so I wouldn't use them daily. Uh, and I would take a good shower afterwards. But I think um, it's something to think about, to use bug sprays if you go deep into the forest where you may encounter ticks. It's something that I will think about and um, next time I feel ill after a tick bite, I'm really going to push for antibiotics much sooner. Because even though antibiotics 
uh, aren't, aren't exactly healthy. They, uh, they affect your gut, your microflora, your gut flora. Um, sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And uh, that's simply the message uh, of this video. Stay vigilant and uh, be careful about those ticks. Uh, I hope to be back on my feet very soon so I can start making longer content for you guys. And uh, I just wanted to um, express my gratitude um, to all those of you who have subscribed recently. I've had uh, a few new subscribers and uh, I see that some of you watch all of my content even though it's a small group of people still. So thank you so much for watching my videos. And uh, I hope to finish uh, my, uh, my new video very soon, which will be about mushrooms. And I'm also preparing a, a longer content video about uh, fallow deer. Because in October it's time for the annual rut, the annual reproduction of, uh, of fallow deer. And during that period they start fighting each other. Uh, the bucks start fighting each other, so I can hopefully make some very nice uh, videos about this. Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, stay safe. See you.